Today, I'm showing how to create outfits using more basic pieces and then building on them to become more of an elevated style. To put together unique looks for every day, sometimes I create an imaginative scenario that then will inform the outfit. And this is a trick that I think anyone can use while they are staring at their closet trying to dream up more inventive looks. Before we get started, I wanted to say thank you to Everlane for being the sponsor of today's video. So every outfit will have at least one or two pieces from Everlane that I personally purchased. They've always been my go-to for all of the basics that I wear, so I thought that there would be just no better brand to build these outfits with. So I will link all the pieces that I use in this video in the description box below, and let's get started with the first look. This first look I'm calling Creative CEO. I'm gonna start with some trousers. These are by La Casa and I have been wearing them regularly through spring. I'm going to wear it today with an old ribbed cami. That will be wonderful as we move into layering and warmer weather. I first of all want to use a belt because these are some trousers that are pretty baggy on me and I intentionally want that look. I just wanted to then be able to cinch it with a belt. The belt is more of this minimal style and it's made by Janessa Leon. I think that it's a lovely look for more of this minimal look that is carried throughout the outfit as I continue. I want to then add the city sandal that's by Everlane and this one is in black. I love the clean lines of it for sure. It has this very comfortable heel to walk in, so if you're not necessarily one to reach for a heel, this one is a stacked heel and it's more of this like block, so it's very easy to walk in. Though it doesn't have a strap on the back, it does have a rubber sole and that just adds the ability to have a little bit more traction while you're walking in a shoe like this. Next, I'm adding this chore jacket and it's in cotton canvas, but it's also the color called canvas. If I would have just gone out and bought my normal like extra small size, then it wouldn't have had quite the same fit. So this could be a lovely option if you want to oversize. I am wearing a large today. They do have a size guide with garment measurements. So you can just check for yourself before you buy it on where this will hit you. It has a lot of the normal features that a chore jacket would have like the pockets that are all over it, one that is underneath, so it just gives the outline of one pocket. And then I love that it has this little button right here that has this black detailing along it. I find that to be just a very intentional attention to detail. For jewelry, I am layering on some necklaces. The necklaces that I'm wearing are by Pamela Card. I've got a little coin as well as this sculptural vase. They are on repeat. I love to wear these with just any outfit and I've worn them a lot in my latest outfits of the week videos. I'm also wearing a bracelet that clasps and that one is by Jenny Bird. And then I've just got an assortment of some more statement rings that I can wear with all the rest of my jewelry. I'll be wearing a lot of these jewelry items on repeat throughout this video just to kind of make it a little bit simpler. The accessories that I wanna wear with this look are black and that's to create a little bit more of this statement look. It's more about the proportion and because it has this contrast, I feel like it really represents that creative CEO. So I'm going to have a black bag which is by Polen. It has very clean, sharp lines which is very similar to the iPad portfolio that I'm carrying, and that is by Von Holzhausen. Then I've got a statement black fedora to top off the whole look, and that's by Lack of Color. So how I'm styling this look is by having this sort of domino with the ivory tones as well as the black accents that are throughout the outfit, but it's, nothing is really overwhelming, even though I'm working with oversized pieces. For my next look, I'm going for the vibe of a celebrity street style, and you'll see why in a minute, but I started with the tiered eyelet dress, which is in the shade Walnut. I love the pockets that it has, which are easy to use and sort of hidden. It's got a beautiful texture with this eyelet pattern. If you like to wear a puff sleeve, then this is great, but I'm actually toning them down a little bit today just by rolling them up. For the shoes, I went with Oxfords, which I felt gave it a different feel. It still is in keeping 
matching with the color because they're tan, and these ones are from Nisolo. I'm using the same jewelry with this outfit, but I am switching out one of the necklaces with this one by Jenny Bird. So this would be a wonderful outfit if you wanted to stop here and just have this look. Um, it has this feminine, chic vibe, but I wanted to add a little bit of an edge to it that I felt would create more of a street style look of possibly what a celebrity would wear and how they would wear and style this look. It's definitely going to be out there, but if you are looking to turn heads, then I guarantee you that this look will. So I'm starting with this matching bandana by Ozma, and I'm going to just wrap that around my head, and you'll see why in a second, but it's going to create this different vibe already. It's got a beautiful pattern to it. With this and the dress, both elements have more of that bohemian sort of pattern. Also, I'm wearing this fedora by Lack of Color. It is more in this ivory tone, and it has this little leather strap that's tied around it. So this is a Western hat. So it takes this feminine outfit and it's starting to move it a little bit more toward Western. I'm also going to carry this bag by Demillier. I thought that having a tone that is similar to the ivory for the bag would sort of repeat the color a little bit through the outfit because that ivory is a new color to this whole look. Also, this bag would create more femininity and move this outfit more feminine. When you add that hat, it takes that away and I'm just adding it back a little bit with this bag. Similar to the creative CEO look, this is a local art studio manager look, and I thought about what would that person wear. They'd want something that was a bit more understated, yet still similar in how it feels loungy and is still a little bit more business appropriate. I'm gonna start with a white Everlane tank and some black silk wide leg pants. These ones are old, but if you are looking for a pair that's just like it, I can link to some that are down in the description box. Uh, one pair is by Dallas Dawes that is the most similar. For the shoe, I'm going with the white city sandal for this look. And so now I've got white, black, white. And so there's a lot of interest already that's happening throughout it. I wanted to still accessorize with a belt just because it added a little bit more of a business flair to these pants that are very relaxed in their style and fit. And so that just allows me also the ability to show the versatility that can come from a minimal belt. I'm wearing the same jewelry as before here, so that I think was appropriate for this look because a local art studio manager would want something that is handmade and sculptural and has a nod to reflections of art through the ages, so there's no perfect fit than Pamela Card jewelry for that. Also, the blazer itself is called the Fatigue Blazer by Everlane. It has more of a relaxed fit, it's military inspired, and because it's relaxed, it's loungy, it's oversized, and it has more of this just broken in feel that's very comfortable. It's this blend of organic cotton and linen, so those are like my favorite fabrics ever. <laughs> the length of this blazer is hitting me about mid-thigh, which is perfect. It's right around where I wanted the chore jacket to hit. The bag I'm going with for this look would carry quite a bit for someone who needs to carry a lot for going to the office. It still has a little bit more of this ironic look to the size of it for this outfit. Someone who is an art studio manager would want something that has that look to it versus something that's frou-frou chic, you know? So that's why this was a perfect combination for this outfit. And then I'm also bringing along the iPad portfolio that works well for someone going to the office. So I put this outfit together a few days ago and I was just thinking, what does this outfit remind me of? So I was looking through some photos and I noticed that this girl was picking oranges out of an orange grove in California and I just thought, wow, like this outfit would be so perfect for any type of, if you're going to the local nursery and picking out some new plants 
or if you've got a garden, whatever size that might be, it might be just a window box or it might be a backyard. And so this outfit is perfect for loungy weekends or anything that you're going to do outside. So the top that I'm wearing is the Japanese Go Weave light square shirt. It's from Everlane. The fabric of the Go Weave, if you haven't tried it before, it's very drapey and it's more wrinkle resistant. For this square shirt that I've worn in several different kinds like linen and silk in the past, having the go weave option still has that lovely drape to this square shape. I'm pairing it with the denim sailors. They are from Jesse Cam. I got them, I want to say three years ago, and they still look brand new. So I'm happy with that. Even if they get a little patina with time, I think I'll be wearing these for several years to come. So that is why I'm excited for this shape um, because it is timeless. It's something that's very minimal and it just works to be able to highlight the, the jean with tucking in the top. So I feel like the top and the bottom are both beautiful pieces. One doesn't take away from the other. The shoe choice for this outfit is the Mule by Nisolo. It's a woven leather, so it has more of this basket weave, which I felt was in keeping with the theme of this outfit. It just had this California comfortable vibe to it, so that felt very in keeping for this experience. I'm using the same jewelry again, and then for the handbag choice, I don't really plan on bringing a handbag to an, an orange grove by any means. I could wear a straw bag, but I currently don't have one for that. But what I do wanna bring is this one by Poulain. It's in this lovely chalk color, and it does leave a levity or like a lightness to the outfit itself, which is more in these light colors. The hat choice here was really the icing on the cake for adding that sort of vivid inspiration to this look. It has this more bucket shape and it's very minimal in the lines, so it works for the style and the cut of each of the garments here, and it will keep the sun out of my face for being outside. So just by adding a hat to this outfit, it creates a different vibe and a different look. You could have left it without the hat and that's totally fine, but if you're looking for new ways to accessorize, then a hat like this would be a wonderful choice. I called this look country club for minimalists because with the addition of the visor that I'll get to in a bit, it just has this country club sort of vibe to it. Yet I didn't want anything that was overly dramatic or just country club suburban sort of feel. I wanted something that was a little bit more minimal, which is matching my style a little bit more. So let me explain through the different pieces. I'm starting with the linen short sleeve knot shirt from Everlane. I've worn this for plenty of times uh, throughout the years, it's just one of those classic basics. The nice thing about linen is that it's more sweat proof and it just has that loose fit again. I'm wearing it buttoned at the top and then the rest of it is open, so tucking it in really helps me to just have it stay in place where I just want to show just barely any skin. The linen pants that I'm pairing them with are from a long time ago. I've had them since I started over on my personal style four years ago, and I do have some options that are still for sale now, so I will link those in the description box. What I love about these pants though is that you can dress them up or down, so today is a little bit more dressed up, even though this is still a short sleeve and I'm kind of wearing it in a more casual way. So it's something that you could have as just a versatile item and that's why it's been around in my closet for so long. My shoe choice is similar from the outfit before. This version is black, it's the Nisolo Woven Mule. I felt like this just made the outfit a little bit more low key while still making it a more sophisticated look. It also matches the visor, and this visor just has this texture to it. It's absolutely beautiful. It lets the sun shine through, but it's really not about the sun being kept out of your face. For a style like this, it's a little bit more for the moodiness, kind of like if you were to wear a crown. To keep this outfit more scaled back, I wanted the jewelry to not shine or take away from anything. So I went without the rings and instead of the other bracelet, I'm just adding one that is as simple as it comes. It's this beautiful little gold bangle. And all of my pieces are 
something that will not tarnish over time, especially these little chokers up top. I wear them in the shower, to bed, everything. And so they just stay with me and dress up every outfit. I felt like there was still something needed for this look. So I did add my black leather belt just one more time. And I feel like it did kind of fill in that one little gap and it's cinching my waist a little bit more, so that's just allowing the shirt to not move. To finish the look, I went with the black bag by Van Holshausen again. That just allowed me to be able to bring more with me for this outfit in my day. Throughout the whole outfit, it does have a little bit of this preppiness, and yet it is scaled back in so many ways with clean lines and a clean color palette and it's comfortable. So anybody could wear this for any length of time in their day with versatile pieces that you could keep in your wardrobe for years. I hope that these outfits have given you some creative inspiration. And if you do like this sort of video, then let me know in the comments and also give it a thumbs up because I really do enjoy making these. Also, thank you to Everlane for sponsoring this video. And until next time, I will see you guys then. Bye.